fucking dope. And I did watch that new movie she's in. And, uh, it was pretty good, but I'm still a... I'm still a fan of, uh, Miss Australian Girl. Yeah, you didn't remember her. You didn't mention her name last time. Um, shoot. Sorry. Play the Atomic Blonde. I'll uh, think no, it. that's Charlize Theron. She, Charlize she's Theron. Theron. She's South African. South African. Where did I say she was from? Australia. Australia. <laughs> I knew she was from Africa. Trust me, I knew it. <laughs> Atomic Blonde was super good. It was good. That fight scene, they, uh... Which one? There's I watched that Daredevil series, the one on the stairs in the hotel building or whatever it was. Man, that was bad as you would kick in they tails, man. That was a good... That was a good fight scene. It was impressive. What's up, world? How y'all doing out there? Just sitting here uh, having a chat with my with my uh, guy, Dan Raybear. One of the uh, building tenants here. Comes down, he's a regular for me. Totally appreciate it. Happy to be here. So the one with Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. I see what she's trying to do, man. The movie she was in, I kind of liked the role. The end of the movie had her being even more of a spy than she was in the beginning. You, When they do the movie, you really don't get what her role is. You think she's just basically an employee. But it turns out, at the end of the thing, you know, she got more of a playing role in the whole CIA. I can't remember what little group of people she was working with, man, but yeah, she was she was pretty good in that. But I'd have to still give it to Charlize Theron right now. She's cypher to me. I appreciate movies where the action sequences have real people. Yeah. And don't defy reality and laws of physics. Yeah, okay. I think I get you. Looking for my little... My so bone. the Atomic Blonde and John Wick and even Mission Impossible ones are good. You, know? you like Mission Impossible? Did you like the new one? I haven't seen it yet. That wasn't too bad. It was a little... It was a little bit watered down. But Tom Cruise, man, as a stunt dude, that dude is nuts. He just straight up crazy. It is impressive the stuff he does. Oh my goodness. I saw that new one, it's pretty good. John Wick, the last one, uh, I was sad. They killed don't off my dude. Don't give up. Oh, no, you uh, haven't seen it? I didn't know you didn't see it, man. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> I just got you know. I didn't know you hadn't seen it, man. But yeah, that's a... Uh, well, so they're going to well. do prequels, though. You don't want to know that either? No, but I was just going to say, you know, he did have it coming, and, you know, it, it does help it be a little slightly more realistic because he took so much abuse and all the other Dude pieces. got his ass whooped a lot. <laughs> he did. He did. Well, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. Ray Bear. I didn't know that uh, you hadn't seen it yet. That's okay. I had no idea. And me, I'm one of them guys, if I hadn't seen it, I don't care what you tell me, I'm going to go see it. You might say something, make me really want to go see it now, you know what I'm saying? So have you seen that, uh, The Island, the Scarlett Johansson? No, the one you brought up the other day, no, I'm going to, that's an older one. And that site that I use, the little Flickster site, I have to be a member 
because it's, uh, I think it's like 2005 when that movie came yeah. out. So I have to go back in history and the site won't let you get anything over three months old if you're not a member. Uh, it's a really, really, really good site. They want you to go ahead and use it for free all you want, but it, you only get so much access. You look like an Oppenheimer man. I haven't seen that yet. I, I can't ruin that for you. They set the bomb off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still might go see it. I saw Barbie too. Did you see mm. that? That was good. Really? They're both really good. Just out of curiosity, when they took Scooby Doo and turned him into a real life motion picture, you're curious. Bullwinkle, you're curious. Wait, that's being turned into a movie? It already has been. A live action movie? A li it's a, it's a Bullwinkle it became a real Bullwinkle and Rocky the Squirrel. I missed that. Yeah, it's already out there in your history, man. Probably 10, 15, maybe almost 20 years old. So I'm I not joking. Those other ones were more strictly kids' movies, whereas Barbie. The Barbie movie was not just a, like, kid. Well, yeah, they, they turned that more adult and brought it. That's a social commentary. Okay, now I'm curious. I was not going to watch that, but now see what you did? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Now you got me curious. I'm going to watch that. I might have to watch it tomorrow. Patriarchy is repeatedly referenced in the movie. Huh. That's not a spoiler. I was tripping when they did that with Barbie, man. Barbie, she should own everything. Two, three houses, all kinds of cars, man. Don't you have a mansion? Did they do a Barbie mansion or something? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Woman got baked. Well, but it's a Barbie toy mansion, so there are no stairs. Yeah. Got one of them cranks or something you gotta go up and. No, but, you know, it's made like the real Barbie house. So... You see that contest they got for the Barbie Dream House? Um, the real one. They got a contest. I didn't know it. Yeah, it was on uh, the Today Show. I was going to say Q6, but no. I think Michael Strahan was talking about that too. Barbie, huh? Uh, yeah, I might have to see some Barbie. Did you see the, uh, uh, the Pope's Exorcist? I have not seen You have not? That wasn't too bad. People know how I feel about Russell Crowe. He wasn't too bad in that movie. Wasn't too bad at all. Mind if we use some red today? I did that with you once before. You're the expert. Awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't need too much color. 
all the shine today. Ooh, how'd you get that fresh new day? Uh -huh. Living. Y'all weren't fighting, were you? Because I know you're a lawyer, you might be able to defend yourself with what gives you a curve or something. <laughs> a few years ago, I used to have that joke too, man. You know, I can cover it up with some dye, man, but you got to take the teeth out yourself and put those in the jar. My jar is full. I can't be. <laughs> Kicking people in the mouth, man. I mean, I can cover up the incriminating evidence, but you got to do something with the teeth. You're stupid, Mike. Yeah, I practice. <laughs> Well, I might have to go see that Oppenheimer this weekend. That looks very interesting to me. I do like movies kind of like that. I was a big Midway fan. The movie Midway. That was really cool. Especially the dog fights and stuff. Them trying to land on the aircraft carrier. And then they did that remake, and I never did see that. I did want to see that. I missed it. Get back in there. There we go. There's a movie relatively recently about the Red Tails, the Red Hawks. Uh, Black fighter pilots in World War II. Well, uh, the Tuskegee men? Yeah. There's a recent movie about it. I think you're right. I think that one slipped past me too. The advertisements, they didn't do a whole lot of them. It wasn't about that. It was about the guy who was, he was in the Navy. Okay. A different one. Black dude? Yeah. The and then he, uh, I think I, I think I know, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. He's a new actor, and he's coming up really big. He just did the Creed movie? Yes. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I did watch that, and that was a good movie. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It, I, it was like a one-word thing. like Him like, and the hey, one guy. Or... He, uh... I can't even... The guy who was sort of like the cocky guy in the new Maverick movie was also in that, like, ooh, he's got the specialty of being the... Yeah. The, you know... No, I saw that. Cocky support actor pilot role. That was a pretty good movie. What is dude's name? I watched him in that TV show Lovecraft Country. He was yes. pretty good in that. Yeah, he was really good in that. And then he was Kang the Conqueror and yeah. the Marvel movie. Yeah! I wondered how he was actually going to play that particular role. Because Kang is one of my favorite villains in the Marvel Universe. He pulled it off pretty good. He pulled off the personality okay. actor's name. I'm trying to remember. Dude is becoming one of my favorite actors though. He's really good at playing his, uh, at playing the roles he plays. He can pull the personality off pretty good. How'd you like that Lovecraft country? There. That was really good. Yeah, see what I mean? Did you see that movie Creed when he played I have not seen the sequels. That was not bad at all. You know, I could see him and Michael B. Jordan actually being friends earlier in the in the thing, how it happened and stuff. The premise of the third one sounds good. It was pretty good. Entertaining enough to watch. 
which is the whole thing. Is it entertaining enough for me to actually go to the movie and pay for that? Or am I just going to wait a year, it'll come on my TV, that type of thing. You know, we do that all the time. But he's like, he's one of them actors worth paying to watch. Literally, he's pretty dang good. I was hoping they'd come out with season two of that Lovecraft Country. Apparently they've canceled that. Yeah, I saw that. That was a shame. Yes. I was curious where it was going to go. Yeah. In the conclusion. Uh, 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 the cop that knew the witchcraft and everything. Dude, what a twist. I was like, man, this is interesting. Had you kind of believing that they actually did some stuff like this in true history and all I was like, that was a pretty day good chill. The Watchmen TV series was good too. Did you like that? Wasn't that uh Mr. Uh what's his name? Come from the uh Come from the, uh, there it is. So, crank this up and get going. Um, shoot. What show was that now? Loss of referencing all of a sudden. I pretty much got it done right on time. Probably spending my time looking for crap. Shops finally starting to settle down. I still got a little bit more work to do. This morning I was in here just cleaning. Sawdust everywhere still. And so I'm vacuuming all that up and getting that up, cleaning the shop a little bit. Just getting it ready for Monday so I can come and destroy it again. You know. Bear with good looking shoes. Thanks to you. I, rep I appreciate your repeat returns. Repeat customers are the best customers in the world. Thank you very much.